Hello everybody and welcome back to Cult of the Lamb. Unfortunately, I am voicing over this at the moment because I recorded a full episode and the recording didn't have any audio, voice or game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed play back that episode and talk over what happened, slowing down a few of the key major points throughout the episodes. So I hope you guys are okay with that, then we'll move into a normal regular episode. This was a pretty important episode, so I was really, really annoyed when this happened. But anyways, we kind of started out just clearing out most of the village, as you can see here, just kind of feeding our troops and making sure everything was right in the village. There was a few different things that I needed to sort out and um, yeah, just trying to grab a bit more diversion and give a few sermons to try and make sure our faith stays high. But it was just kind of a little groundskeeping, seeing what's what. I kind of read the mind of a few people, Lily there, doing absolutely fantastic. All those positive traits. It was super nice to see. But anyways, we decided to finally head out into our first adventure. And as you can see, we have a quest to kill Leshy. We did find this little dude that sells us some seeds, which is really nice. He's just going to be there from now on to sell us seeds whenever we need it, which is really nice because we're actually looking to get our farm started this episode. And we do do that a little bit later on. But as you can see, we start off with Leshy. I'll be awaiting you in my temple. Come, witness true power. So, of course, this seems to be the episode where we'll be fighting Leshy over at the end of this area. So, we did get two very high-leveled abilities and a weapon, so it's really, really nice there. And cleared out a few of the cultists in the first room here, and Leshy returned to us. Basically, he is just saying, I am annoyed. You do not service that person. Uh, I, I, like, I am going to take you out. So we, we had to clear through and make our way towards him. But this little tentacle attack that you can see me doing every now and again was very, very strong. It was, it was really, really good. It was really kind of wrecking everything. Uh, but we're kind of just mainly looking to try and get as much gold as possible and grass to start our farm here because we were lacking a little bit. We also need to do a few other things um, like some of the upgrades from our diversion we could have got were stuff like um, getting a stone mine and a lumber yard, which I really wanted to do this episode. So we're trying to gather enough resources and enough diversion to be able to do that as well as be able to perform a few new rituals as well. Uh, we're able to grab some extra attack speed here and kind of keep moving through. Um, and yeah, we kind of just moved on to the next area. I decided to go to the right because we could get some extra lumber, which we really needed. But also because we can hire a new um, a new follower, which again, we kind of needed. Because we're going to try phase out some of the non-turtle people and bring in to the point where it's only turtles. I don't want to let anyone die on purpose, but I will sacrifice them if need be. So I decided to do that here. And yeah, we got a nice little rescue. This is who will become uh, Deku. So Deku, you have become a follower of the Cult of the Turtles. Um, we get the Leshy Shrine there and get a little bit extra devotion. And then we found the fisherman here. This guy is going to show us um, a little fishing spot down by the water near a, a lighthouse that you can see there. And we're going to go and travel to that a little bit later on to take a look. And there seems to be this really cool little fishing mini game as well as a little village with a few extra shops. We also found this guy again and I upgraded to a dagger because it basically just gave us bonus attack speed with no damage reduction. So we just kind of took most of these enemies out. We got a nice little sort of elite poison guy here. But not much else throughout the combat, really. We were just kind of using our tentacle thing and getting on with it. I think we do upgrade pretty soon to the um, to the the blast, the projectiles that like home in and follow. Uh, that was really useful. But here we are into the area with Leshy, and we kind of just gotta see how it goes and and hope for the best. This this boss, by the way, if you're not ready for it, my god prepare because it was awesome yeah here we go we change over to this one here that just gives us some herbing projectiles which i thought on a boss that's brand new to us would be very very useful we are playing on hard remember so the game is by no means easy we did have a bit of a hard time getting to this point my health actually looked pretty good because of some of the cards that i got but um we reached the boss and the final seal of the door is fulfilled and the seal is broken the door is open and we can make our way into leshy's temple and take him on. I kept this bit at normal speed uh, just because I really wanted you guys to witness this fight. I'm so annoyed you guys didn't get to see my honest first time reaction to this. I was really disappointed when I saw the recording and stopped. But still, just look at this ma masterpiece. Stop this frivolous masquerade. He takes some of his cultists here, or some of his devout followers. They commit seppuku <laughs> and he sucks up their blood and kind of mangles himself into this red beast and then just grows into this look at that the teeth 
This boss is not what I was expecting at all. Really, really amazing boss design there. Um, and as you'll get to see later on, you actually get to refight this guy if you'd like. So that's going to be really, really cool. Um, but uh, I used this homing thing here to try and take him out. He wasn't a particularly hard boss, but I wasn't really expecting that because he is the first one. We just kind of tried to fill up our um, our meter. I can't remember what the, the uh, currency is called to fill up that meter now. Uh, but we tried to fill up that as much as possible uh, so that we could keep firing Herman projectiles at him. But I had to kind of take out all the ads first so it didn't accidentally Herman on them. But he wasn't really taking too much damage. So it was a little bit of a game of cat and mouse. I was waiting for him to move, get a few hits in, sort of run and um, run and crawl away. So I speed up the rest of the fight here because it's, it, it is much of the same. We've seen most of his attacks now. He does a few unique things after this, but for the most part, it's the same. But still, what a, what a boss fight. Really, really fun. Really, really interesting. And I'm really excited to see what more's to come. There's another, I think, three or four major bosses. Um, and I'm sure there's going to be some things in between all of those as well that we can look out for. So that's going to be a lot of fun to, uh, to, to come across. But here, we just about beat him. And there we go. We take him down. And he actually drops a heart of a heretic, which is going to be a new type of currency that we can use. We actually saw this last time within the temple when we were checking our, um, our stone fragment upgrade things. Um, the commandments. So we can use that, as you can see here, in our altar to increase the power of our red crown and this actually breaks the seal of the door by killing leshy unlocks the chains and lets us walk through back to um back to our hometown but we got of course as you can see a lot and a lot of stuff for this a lot of gold um a lot of resources and some decorative things as well which is really really nice i really want to try and um make our place a little more homely i think at the minute we're still in the stage of um just trying to survive uh, we don't, we're not really thriving yet. We're, our followers are still quite hungry all the time. They don't really have any great places to sleep. And where they do sleep, it's kind of falling to pieces. But we're trying to get that going. And this sort of bountiful amount of resources was really, really good for that. As you can see, 144 coins. But then we got dragged to this guy. The one who waits. Unless she falls um, like a grain of sand against a tidal wave. So basically he's saying we destroyed him. Which we definitely did. I think I got hit against him once. Um, and now we can kind of come back and our, <laughs> our loyal turtle followers are surrounding us. So we start feeding everyone. Unfortunately, we had to make this grass um, this grass stew thing, which does lower faith, which meant that I had to take some rather extreme measures. So here we do, we do some upgrades. I decide to go for the lumber yard first because I think that being able to regenerate wood is going to be really nice. Um, and we build that later on. But yeah, we have to uh, do a sermon here. Get a little bit of faith going and we can also upgrade i believe we upgrade into the bottom left one here which is going to give us some poison bane weapons which i really like the idea of new weapons is always fun so we, we grab some of those um but then we have to we have to do something that i didn't know if we were going to do we ascend a follower we take our first ever guy um Tredul, the the first dude that we got and because he's a higher level he's gonna increase everyone's loyalty even more and it gave us some stuff in reward too and he is technically dead he's gone now but he has been ascended and so our followers uh, actually quite like that and here's the upgrades we can get for the hearts i went with the one that allows us to eat once a day to gain a soul heart it's going to give us a little bit of extra defense when we go in and also now we um get deku into his true form deku you are blue you are a turtle boy also you have very very good traits as well which is really nice we accept you on and i think around about this time as well we start giving people some more jobs and sort of giving responsibility to everyone because I, everyone was kind of just devout and praying so I was a bit confused about what else they could be doing um so I decided to go over and start crafting stuff and give people some roles where they can actually sort of make a difference and collect some resources for us also this guy wanted us to find his brother too so we're going to try and go and do that later on as well hopefully we can find him um, but as you can see here, we're just kind of clearing out into the area, watering our plants. I do, I believe, move my um, my plants as well, just to be close to that farm bit. We do some general cleaning up while it's night time and catch a few critters, finish off the building as well. And here's our lumber yard. We can essentially just get some regenerating wood from that. I did dig up a sapling here. I'm not sure if these grow back into trees or not. So I'm going to try leaving those in the future uh, just to see if that makes a difference. But as you can see here, we... Um, we're able to plant down another bit of farmland, which is really, really nice. Unfortunately, we don't have enough logs to repair all this, but here you can see me just assigning roles to people so that they all um, chip in to the greater good and hopefully get us doing some good stuff. And I assign this person, uh, this is Seraph. I assign Seraph to do some farming duty as well. And we collect all of that too, which is really nice. 
So there is actually quite a lot we can do here. Here we go. Here's me moving the farmland just so it's closer to the actual farm. I'm not sure if it makes a difference, but I feel like it probably does. Um, and now I'm just kind of hanging around until I can get a little bit more diversion um, so that I can get another upgrade because I really want the uh, the mine. So there you go. We get the stone mine. And we kind of plant that down um, just at the sort of bottom right over here, I believe it is. Yeah, just, just around here, sort of near kind of where the uh, sleeping quarters are. I didn't want to make the sleeping quarters too sort of isolated. I wanted kind of buildings to surround things. Makes it feel a little bit more like a village than just a, a random amalgamation of stuff, <laughs> if you know what I mean. But anyways, we decided to go over to the fishing village here, and I just spent quite a lot of time just harvesting all of their resources, because we were quite low on food, and to be fair, lumber as well, so I was just chopping everything down. That little shrine there allows us to buy new follower, um, like visuals, like new skins, but we're only sticking with turtles. <laughs> we only need turtles, so I thought... We don't really need to go ahead with that. So I just chop everything down. I didn't hear, and these guys are basically complaining that their uh, their god has left them and they need to light the um, the fire to keep the lighthouse, um, the, the, the light on. And so we offer up 15 wood in order to um, give them the flame that they need. And they are very grateful for that. They, they pray to us and um, essentially devout themselves to us and that gives us quite a few different upgrades in this little area which i didn't expect but it's really nice and i actually ended up buying stuff some of the stuff from some of the shops here so we do get a bit of diversion off of the back of this but you'll see when we leave this area that there's a little bit more to it than that so we get 15 diversion which isn't bad it's not amazing but it's, it's good enough and then uh, we pop out and we can see that there's uh, now um, a few shops sort of gathered around here that we can actually purchase some stuff from like tarot cards um, so I purchased one that's going to give us the chance to find harvest more um, resources, which is really nice. And we can also buy some decorative things here. So I end up buying the uh, the torch on the far left because I don't know a large torch seems like it could be really useful. I don't know if um, having lights affects the village's morale at all, like during the night time. But then we finally find the fisherman. And we decide to do a little bit of the fishing mini game. I have to tell you, this fishing mini game is a lot of fun. He gave us a little quest to um, essentially collect some specific different fish for him. So we'll try and find them as we go. But at the moment, I'm mainly fishing for food because berries aren't really doing the job right now. Fishing's really going to be our main resource. So that's kind of going to be what I'm taking on board. And we actually got another one here. Enemies have a chance to drop fish. That's a tarot card that we got. So now I just spend a little bit of a... A somber time in the night fishing. I have no idea if fishing in the night makes it any more difficult or brings out new fish or anything like that. But I caught around five or six collections of fish. You normally get two or three per um, per fishing venture. So I tried to get a few here just to just to make up enough food to uh, feed the village, and it did work. We actually got quite a lot, and it's put us in a really good spot for feeding everyone now. So when we go back, we uh, we make up some fish suppers for people. And they seem relatively happy with it all, which is really nice. We also found a new form, a new cultist form there, the fish cultist. So there is some extra loot that you can get from these, which is pretty interesting. I wasn't expecting too much treasure. But we move into day 10 here, and we kind of decide, let's just go back to the village. And um, we can start feeding everyone, because everyone's getting a little antsy. It wasn't crazy, but it was a li little bit hungry. Um, I over made some food there. I still didn't really understand at this point how much food I needed to make So I was just making as much as I could <laughs> And then we we're just looking at any upgrades we could make I did mess around a little bit here with um, some of the pathing and uh, you can see that both pathing and flowers here don't cost anything So I thought why not try this out? It didn't end up looking too great to be honest as you can see so I ended up removing it um, But it is what it is. It is what it is um, we'll, uh, we'll try and make some paths later on as well and see how that goes. But we collect some resources here. We, um, do another sermon because obviously it is the next morning. Our devout followers give us some, um, good stuff and faith rises again. And then I just go around gifting things to everyone. So Willow gets a, a nice cupcake and, uh, becomes the next lever of devout follow- uh, the devout follower. And um, Seraph here, I give you a blessing. And, um, Amadis gets a blessing here and so does Lily. There you go, and Lily's upgraded, and that gives us actually enough to go into here and upgrade once more. So we gr we go and grab, uh, I believe, basic decorations here, because like I said, we want to try and make the place look a little nicer, so grabbing this is pretty good. But we come in here, and we uh, decide to grab another one of these. So this time I go for possessions, and I can either go with extort or bribe. And I think that extorting is the better way to go about this, so basically now all of our fo followers have to pay us a small fee. <laughs> <laughs> so all of you gotta pay me now. <laughs> I found that pretty funny, but I thought that was kind of the best one to go for to start with um, Yeah, so I, I one second 
Yeah, and then, then we carried on and kind of just cleared up the village again. But I went out on one more run, which ended up being maybe a little bit of a foolish gambit. I thought it'd be a good little adventure. We did find this little owl guy who I don't really know what he gives so far. He kind of just said a lot of stuff about essentially like, um, oh, Leshy is dead, go forth, sort of thing. And I'm like, okay. Then we spent quite a lot of time destroying all of these because my friend told me you could. And I was like, I need lumber. I really need lumber. So I destroyed all of these. It took quite a while. This is 350% speed. So you can see how long that took. <laughs> um, but once we got all of those, we kind of moved into the next area. And yeah, I did something accidental that was interesting. But you you'll see in a moment that I, uh, I, I was pretty shocked by it when it happened. And I was very ill prepared. Um, so we were kind of taking quite a lot of damage here. We did find a plus tarot card, like a rare one, which was interesting, which was like a boosted version of a normal one. So this guy comes back again and um, he basically just tells us about the other gods that we have to slay. Um, and then we kind of move on. We steal some, some stuff from his fire and we just kind of keep on going, grabbing as many coins as we can, making our way through. And we did get this uh, feather necklace, which is going to be a nice gift. We decide to grab another follower real quick, which is already a turtle, <laughs> which I was I was like, OK, this is perfect. This one's already a turtle. I didn't realize like the DLC ones could appear naturally, but it's really cool that they can. Um, for, for those people that are actually having a diverse cult following, I'm just having a turtle based one. But yeah, <laughs> um, anyway, we bust him out. We rescue him and send it back. I don't think I've named him yet, so that'll end up being Lizifer in the next episode. But yeah, I destroy this and teleport through here and realize I can't escape and I have one heart and it's the Leshy fight again. I somehow restarted the Leshy fight, not really realizing that I was doing that and um, got down to half a heart when he was still at 90% HP. So you can probably tell how this is gonna go. I mean, I put up an, uh, an amicable, am amicable, amicable, I don't know. I put up a good fight is what I was gonna say. A decent fight, but my efforts my efforts were not quite enough, I don't think. Um, and because of all the extra enemies and that attack specifically, the big wave one, it was a bit too much, especially at this HP. And it didn't end up quite working out in the end. So I'm wailing on him, doing my best. And he does that attack one more time, I believe. And we uh, unfortunately don't quite dodge it right, yeah. And there you go, unfortunately we did die, which is interesting though, because the first death, I didn't know what was going to happen with this. So basically it takes away some of your resources, as you can see, but you get to keep some of them, which I wasn't expecting. And then we get brought to this guy who essentially says, don't worry, you can't die. I'm not done with you yet. You are still my follower. I will keep you around for as long as I need to. Do not worry go back and you will come back stronger this time around, which was very nice of him. But yeah, that's kind of what happened over the episode. I'm really, really sorry that this ended up happening. I hope you guys can forgive me and I'll see you in the actual episode. Okay, welcome to the actual episode. Now, I apologize so much about that hiccup there. I hope the review of that episode did work for you guys. I, I was really frustrated when I lost the footage because I tried and it just didn't happen. It was so sad, but we can start off by bringing in a new turtle buddy. And this is going to be Lizifer. I really like the name Lizifer, by the way. That's a really good name. Anyways, Lizifer, uh, we're going to choose your form. We're going to keep you obviously as the turtle, but we want to change your color to uh, be the next one in the line, which is the red one. I'm also going to give you the big head form because you, I don't know, seem cool. Gain 10 faith and falling ill. On recruiting this follower immediately gains 10 faith. That's really good stuff. And then we can bring you in, accept you, and you become part of our cult as well. The turtle cult grows one member stronger. We love to see it. Um, and then we'll just put you on woodcutting duty for now. You can do some of that. Um, and we'll see if we can we'll see if we can get some stuff going before we head out again. Of course, last time in the last episode we did we did unfortunately I say in the last episode in this episode just a moment ago we did unfortunately die. <laughs> um, oh, also we can complete this guy's quest because that's um, Deku is the brother of Lucifer. Oh, leader, I'm so grateful my brother is here at last. Huzzah! And we got another piece, too. Quest has leveled up. Doing very well. We can grab this as well. Um, we can grab Missionary. Demonic Summoning Circle sounds pretty interesting. Or we can go this way and um, grab the Offering Statue. I don't know what sort of offerings that would, that would bring our way. I don't really like the idea of the missionaries thing yet. It seems risky. So let's go with the offering statue, shall we? We'll try that out. 
That seems like a good way of doing things. And then we unlock the next level of their stuff. What's this? A place for followers who are not worshipping to pray throughout the day um, and deposit devotion. That's pretty cool. I like the idea of that. Then we can receive some of that. Right, let's come over here and see what we can build. So, to be honest, we might want to start building this sort of stuff. Okay. We do have our offering statue here, which we can't afford right now. It's a bit costly. We do have a lot of decorations we can put up as well. Ooh, I'm going to have fun with all these decorations. I'm sure of it. Um, in terms of pathing, how exactly does pathing work? It literally is just the same path. So let's, let's widen this path a little bit. Just to make it a little more complete. There you go. Let's widen that a little bit. I didn't. It didn't even cover in those little bits in the middle. Why? Excuse me, game. I want to cover in. Okay, there you go. You can actually cover them in. Good. Okay. So we just increased this a little bit. It doesn't look great, but it's something. Um, and then yeah, we could. We should also create some pathing, just between things. We can also create a few bits of farmland, which we probably ought to do right now, actually. Very nice. We'll move over. We can harvest some of this already. Nice. That's good to see. Yeah, I want to see if there's a way for us to like, farm grass or anything like that. Probably need to make some food for people. Let's water all these. Okay, these guys are actually taking care of the farmland themselves, which is really nice to see. I didn't think they would, but I'm glad they do. Huzzah! Thank you. That's another piece for us there. Right, a few more from here, and let's uh, let's feed our fellas. Let's feed them with some air. Uh... What, what's this here? Deadly dish. 100% chance of dropping resources. 75% chance they'll die instantly. Okay, let's not feed them that. That seems like a bad idea. Um, let's go with that, and then we can do that, and then that that'll get our uh, hunger to about full. One, two, three. Four, five, six. There you go, guys. I'll clean up some of this puke and poop and all that sort of good stuff. Leave that on the ground. Tell me why don't you? Thank you. I'm just your caretaker, you know. Yeah, we got quite a lot of these twigs about now. I'm gonna leave these because I think these do grow into trees. I think I've been I've been like chopping them out of the ground and not really thinking about the fact that that might actually be a good idea to uh to to get trees regrown. So let's uh. Go back over here and we'll create some paths. Two places. So we'll go here. So we want a path that leads to this. It's kind of hard to build a, a good looking path, honestly. <laughs> that looked good. I think that looks good. Um, probably better to build the path from the thing rather than the other way around. It's just, it's, it's annoying having this very restrictive, uh, very restrictive way of building paths. Like, is it going to look any better if I do this? Not really. Let's remove, remove, remove. I don't want it too thick. Okay, the, these two can be filled in. It's a little restrictive, but I don't, I don't mind. I wonder if there's a way to turn off the grid at all. Wait a minute, we still need to do a pass to the other thing as well. I forgot about that. Right, um... Just to the lumber yard here. Well, what's that noise there? <laughs> okay, we don't need that one there. Okay, that didn't work great, but it'll do. It's a path. Uh, I also want to remove these. I did remove them last episode, but they came back for some reason. I don't quite know why. We got you pathed up. We should maybe do a little path around you as well. I like the little birdies we've got chilling behind us right now. Oh, it's really hard to get it exactly where you want it, but that's that's good enough. And then we can just create a small little path to this. There you go. That's nice enough. We got some pathing. It's not perfect. It's good enough. I've actually got some... Oh, we should put... We need to do pathing to the temple as well. What am I doing? Really want to make this place look pretty. So, for here we want to go... Doon, doon, doon. And then... I just wanted to, like, do the outline first. 
and then we can correct after. Okay, like that look. And then that kind of makes a nice path there. And we can go, if I could get it. That's, that's a decent path right there. There you go, we got a path in. I like it, I like it, it looks good. Is there any other decoratives that we want to place around here? Um, a cool spooky stone formation. I don't know if any of these have like specific benefits or if they just like boost morale or anything like that. Like I kind of like the idea of putting one of these near the uh, sleeping quarters. We gotta actually go craft those as well, although it looks like we've got some guys on it already. Nice. Well done, my friends. And then we've got some interesting stuff here, like a leafy lamp post. Ooh, I like the idea of the leafy lamp post. It's the only one of them we can afford because we haven't got any grass. But we'll, 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 we'll craft that there. Okay, I'll leave you to it. I kind of want to craft that with him, but it's not letting me. Anyways, these guys are doing a good job of creating these. There's some extra stone there as well. We'll head out for another adventure. There you go, look. We definitely want to create some nice bedding next time, I think. So let's uh, let's get out there. And we'll see what we can get done. So the next door is open now, because we have enough followers. If we want to head into that area, which I am definitely sure we do. Huzzah! Thank you, followers. Submit to me. Beautiful. And that opens the door for us, does it? <laughs> Thank you, guys. You head on your way back to town. It's heading into nighttime as well, so by the time we get back, it'll be day. I don't know if going out on adventure in nighttime increases the difficulty at all. Um, ooh, the Tempest Gauntlet. A set of deadly spiked gloves, weak at first, but devastating on a complete combo. Um, the Ica Throne, a projectile that spreads black Ica on the land. Both of them sound really cool. I will take them. Ooh, nice. So we can destroy these, uh, training dummies for a bit of extra lumber if we want, but honestly, it's going to take forever to do all of them, so I'm not going to bother. Cat, that doesn't give us anything. Anyways, let's continue onwards. Ooh, hello. What's this room about? Oh, okay. It's you! I didn't mean to fire something at you. Pathetic, sniveling, vile puppet to the red crown, you have felled the youngest of us. We are the bishops of the old faith. We protect against heresies such as yours. We are the guardians of the true word and we shall not tolerate such blasphemy. Your sins are many and for that your loyal followers must suffer. They shall starve. No, Lucifer. Where am I, leader? No! Lucifer is starving! How could you? That was absolutely savage. That was absolutely savage. How could you do this? Ooh, we got some new enemies. I didn't even think about the fact that there'd be new enemies in here. Got some black Ica going on there. Damn, that, that does combo up pretty nicely. Oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Get a nice chest here. We also got another feather necklace, which is really nice. We should be gifting those whenever we can. Really want to get as many grass as we can. For decorative, but also planting crops. That's a nice amount of grass there. Good, good. But yeah, I'm interested to see what enemies we end up seeing here. Ooh, we got a big old frog. So we really want to be trying to complete our combos whenever we can, because the damage it does is a lot higher. Like a lot, lot higher. Beautiful. You're at the door. You're, you're stood there. Dude, that was a tricky little move there. You got behind me. I mean, well done for, for <laughs> trying to get past me, but come on now. Nice. So these frogs aren't really too hard if you combo them. But generally, I can imagine be a bit of an issue. Do these leaf piles give us anything extra? Any extra bits of grass? We've got we've got quite a lot already, to be honest. Don't worry, guys. I'm just harvesting all the grass. Don't don't fret about me. <laughs> I'll just cut all this down and I'll I'll, uh, I'll fight you after. There was, a, there was a there was an enemy in this grass that I didn't see. Great, that guy hit me. 
Oh, damn. This is tricky. This weapon maybe isn't the best for this because of the combo. Oh, damn, I'm on half a heart. got to be really careful. Hopefully the game gives us some health here. But we're not looking so hot right now. This area is definitely harder. We did acquire a new stone candle. I like the idea of that. That's pretty cool. For one stone, it's definitely a good cost as well. We're, oh, is it, we're, we're looking really beat up as well. That's really cool. I didn't expect that character to like visually be looking beat up. That's pretty cool. Right, through to here we'll hopefully get our tarot cards. There you go. Please give us some health. That's all I want right now. Consume 50% less. That's incredible. That is incredible. Honestly, if we just don't get all this grass, I'm pretty happy. 41 grass means a lot of crops. But I do think it's a good chance we die. I have to say. That's just part of the course, really. We're still learning the game. We got Burns or a follower. We definitely want a new follower, right? What on earth is going on here? Etic, please accept our sacrifice and bless us with the fertile soils and bountiful harvest. Keep our, the famine at bay. Be really careful here. These guys are a little bit tricky. Beautiful. We got them. Well, we got one wave of them, should I say. The frogs scare me because they're a bit sp sporadic. Luckily, the enemies in this game have pretty good tells. You can tell when they're about to attack. Beautiful. So the, the ranged guy is probably a good idea to get rid of, but I don't know if he does anything other than his ranged attacks. I'm a little scared. Okay, got rid of him. Beautiful. There's more. The holy. I got hit again, but I don't know what on. I got like hit on some kind of armor that I have, apparently. Or had. I should have eaten something before I came out to get a soul heart. Forget that that's an ability I have. Yeah, this weapon isn't really my forte. It's decent, but it's not what I'm used to. Good, good. Hello, frog boy. How are you? I'll come save you, don't worry. You have been rescued. I'll bring you back home. So even if we die, we're still made progress here. I don't know what the boss is likely to be here, but if we don't get some health, it's going to be pretty rough. Pretty rough. Get some extra stone out of that. Nice. Yeah, that was a really nice big hit of damage on that guy. Wasn't expecting it to be quite that much. If they step in that as well, they take even more damage. Beautiful. Health. Oh, yes, a soul heart. Okay, we're back in the running. We can do this now. Okay, so we got rock formations that can fall on our heads, but also on enemies by the looks of things. Seems to be the case there. Okay, again, let's take care of all of these leaves and grass bits if we can. And more the merrier. There's so much of it in this area, too really valuable. We're at 69 grass. Come jump over onto this. And it drops like a big rock at the end as well. Looks like it can only occur once per area though. Hey, we've got some health there as well. Very nice. And then you've got some interesting stuff. Chance of poisoning enemies, we got Bane Gauntlets, we got the Traitor's Razor, we got the um, Touch of Turava. I'm going to go with that, I think that's better than what we've got right now. The Ikathro is nice, but this is like, the damage that it does is way better. Right, let's keep on going. Okay. 
just take care of all of this crap. I think I'll actually get away with that. Like, look at that. Look at that damage. It's all in a row. We managed to kill a snail there. I don't know if that does anything for us, but I did it. Oh, damn. That was a good dodge by that guy. I wasn't expecting him to be able to dodge that that easily, but he did. Still, health not too bad. Just gotta be careful. Look at that damage. Killed the big frog in like one go, essentially. Beautiful. This attack, this final attack, if you get it off, is really impressive. Like, I almost one shot that frog then. And it's got really good range on it, too, actually. Was that a heart there? That was a heart. Hell yes. I mean, I got hit again, but still. Wasn't expecting to get a heart there. Right. Where we go? Okay. Some sort of frog boss. I can deal with it. Good damage. Missed it on the second time around. Don't know what that egg was about to do. Oh, God. Damn it! Okay, that attack's kind of kind of difficult. I'm trying to hit my like last bit of my combo, but it's not easy. Got to really time it right. Okay, he also does damage on landing too. Okay, difficult boss, difficult boss. Not much health. How much is it gonna take off me? Twenty-five grass. Oh, no, no, no! That's so much grass to lose. Death is of little consequence, rise against once more. It matters not how many times you struck down, the culture continues to grow. Huzzah. Not too bad. Okay, so we do, it is good to be back though, because we do need to feed some people. Hunger is uh, a problem right now. Also, faith is a really big issue. Okay. Quickly, let's um, cook some stuff up. And then we'll uh, we'll do some stuff to get some faith back as well. Don't worry about it. There you go, guys. I know it's not the best, but you gotta take it, or else it's gonna lower my faith a lot. But oh god, oh god, it's jumping up and down rapidly. That's scary. Hey, you. Hello, hello. Join me. You are... Takazoli. That's how you pronounce it. I don't think it is, but close enough. Awesome. Choose your form. You become a turtle as well. What are the chances? There you go. And lose fence faith and fallen ill on recruitment. Oh, no. Let's see how this goes, because that could be really bad. We've lost a lot of faith here. Come back in here. Guys, guys, guys. We need to do a sermon. Real fast. Everyone's not very happy. Thank you. Okay. Vampiric weapons sound like a good idea. Let's go for them. Beautiful. And hope this gives us a good, a good old amount of faith here, because... Otherwise, we're going to be on the rocks a little bit. Gave us a bit. Can we do any rituals right now? On cooldown. Damn. Both of those are on cooldown, and both of those are things we kind of need. They're all pretty mad. Wait a minute. Gift. You can have that. Excuse me, leader. Some creatures here are seeking shelter with our cult, but they are sick. Should I let them join? Recruit sick followers. No, we need to accept. Interact. Give a blessing. We need to just give blessings to everyone. 
Otherwise, things are going to be messed up. Thank you. Blessing, come here. I know you're feeling ill. I'm sorry, people. I'm trying my best here. I'm trying my damn best. Okay, refinery. I guess we go with a refinery, yeah? More resources for us. More things to unlock. I like the way that looks. Give a blessing to you as well. I need to give blessings to everyone because it's five faith pair pop. Especially if we rank people up as well, it's even better. Okay, faith is looking not too bad now. Just need to clean up a little bit around here. Stop pooping on the floors, people. God damn. What's going on in here? My crown. I can do another one of these, okay. Let's get another doctrine going. I guess this time we go for like illness. Oh god, you are looking pukey. Sustenance. Feast or fast? Uh, ritual fast. Perform a ritual at your temple to declare a fast. Follows not be, uh, not be eat or hungry for three days. Unlock a feasting ritual for a grand feast for your followers to re uh, refill their hunger and gain 25 faith. I think uh, I think fast seems way more appropriate right now. We don't have enough to do a feast. Nice. Okay, so we can go for the doctrine. Check that out. And then we can actually go over to rituals and do that if we want. It'll cost... Okay, so it costs us faith, though. I didn't realise it cost us faith. I mean, it makes sense. But we don't really have the faith to spare right now, so we'll leave that for right now. But later down the line, that might become more necessary. We'll see. Why would you poop right there? It's corners to poop in. Okay. Let's do some building. Let's try and build some better, um... Okay, so we can upgrade shelters. Two shelters upgraded. We get to work on that, guys. Okay, nice. Got a few more of them, a few more of them going. Stop pooping on the floor, people! God damn! Rest until no longer sick. Pfft, not there. I thought you. I thought you were gonna go like lay down somewhere. <laughs> My God. You need to be sent to bed for uh, bed rest, or I could die. Just go to bed when you feel like you need it. You fool. Wait. I'm confused. It says wake up. But you're not, he's not in bed, he's just standing there. Okay, there you go. Anyways, let's bring in some new fellas. <laughs> On recruit immediately. Do you know what? I don't really want to bring you in anymore. <laughs> this is going to be Chaos Lime Turtle. But it's going to be just Chaos Lime because the Turtle worth it. Oh, let's just do Chaos Tail. That makes more sense. Choose your form. Become a turtle once again. You can be a brown turtle. And you can have swirly hat. Why not? There you go. Let's bring you in. You are going to be sick as soon as you arrive, though, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Okay. Go to bed. And then you... You can be buddy. Choose your form. Choose your colour. You can be big head variant. And get 10 faith from falling ill. Get faith when building better sleeping quarters. 
both good because we're doing that at the moment. I'm gonna send you straight to bed though. Bed rest for you. Let's receive some fear from this. Okay, things seem to be going reasonably well here. Reasonably well. But yeah, I think we're going to leave it there. I hope you guys did enjoy this. Um, things are looking pretty decent here. Repair this bed real quick. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next one.